Welcome back. We just finished talking to uh, Professor Cornelius Pons over here, who seems to have known Hans, which means he might be interested in that mammoth doll. Mammoths are also his specialty, and he seems to know what tribe the doll came from. So, I think he would want to see it. There's also a door at the end of this hallway. No point. It's locked. Which we can't go through. Now, it would have been nice if we'd already had the Mammoth Doll with us. But, you know, the game did not let us do that. As you remember, I specifically showed you that um, you cannot take the Mammoth Doll because Kate thinks she doesn't need it. Hello? So, you got him then, this air? Ah, it's you, Mr. Marson. Good day, and, and how are you, sir? I'll feel a whole lot better when this whole business is over and the sales contract is signed. Where the hell are you? I'm in Barakstadt. What? What in God's name are you doing there? It's a magnificent university town. It would appear Hans Varlberg once passed by here uh, several years ago. So if he isn't there anymore, then there's no point hanging around. I hear what you're saying, sir, but I have good reason to believe that Hans Varlberg is still alive. For the time being, I'm trying to gather extra information from people who have known him. What's your next destination? I'm not exactly sure, yet. Doesn't sound like you know too much, Kate. I just need a bit of time, Mr. Marson. Yeah, well, time is what you ain't got. Keep me posted. He doesn't seem to have an awful lot of faith in her ability to do her job, does he? It's not like any of this is her fault. Um, while we're on the way back, um... Which, like I said, the game makes you do. It makes you walk all the way back there because you couldn't get the mammoth earlier. Um, let's look at this bandstand that it's fixing, apparently. It does look like Vorlberg automatons. This thing's jammed. Huh. Weird kind of mechanism. Seems to have some kind of golden egg on one side. And not on the other. And the wheel that we can't turn. Seems like we can put something here. All we have is a hook, so that's not going to work. Nope. And I guess we need another egg to balance this out or something? Not sure. Well, we have been told about a place to find eggs. That seems to be all we can do here. I guess that is the way in, so we'll need to find a way to operate that mechanism. We have been told about a place to find eggs, which is the um, mechanical eagle nest which scoops up unwanted eggs. It hasn't been working, but there may still be eggs there and maybe something we can use. Actually, while we're going this way, let's take the opportunity to go this way, which we haven't been yet. Looks like that leads to the other side of the station entrance. And we cannot go further to the right here. Can go inside and, oh, I guess these are the locks that the people on the barge were talking about. I'm gonna have to open those for them to be able to continue. Gesellschaft der Ostschlössen Something. Barockstatterschlössen. Which is the company of... I'm assuming Schlössen is locks. I'm not, not sure what Ostschlössen. Just East locks? I may be completely wrong. 
I can't read this word, and this is just the Brockstadt locks, I guess. I guess we can operate the lock from here. Although the locks are I need a key. locked. Helpful. Uh, when probleme an folgende Nummer telefonieren. 2766 6742. And it did say the translation at the bottom there. In case of problems, contact the following number. 2766-6742. So, I guess we should do that. That looks broken. But we can't use the phone that's here. But we have one. One of the few cases in the game where it actually wants you to dial a number instead of just receiving a phone call. Um, let's see, 2766, 6742. Welcome to the East Block Control Center. To start, press the number sign. Alright, press the number sign, I guess. If you are using the Holtenberg lock, press 1. If you are using the Morloth lock, press 2. If you are using the Koningpass lock, press 3. If you are using the Barakstadt lock, press 4. To return to the last command, press the number sign. Okay, uh, 4 then. If you want to raise the water level, press 1. If you want to lower the water level, press 2. To return to the last command, press the number sign. Suppose we need to lower the water level to open the locks on this side so the bars can get in and then raise it again once they do. You want to lower the water level in the Barrackstadt lock? To confirm your choice, press star. To return to the previous command, press the number sign. Your request has been logged. Unfortunately, our regional technician is currently on holiday, and no replacement is available. We will reply to your request within 48 hours. In case of an emergency, please operate the lock system manually. We apologize for delays to our service. Okay, well that was helpful. I guess we need to do it manually, but we can't because there is a lock here and not just the one we need to operate and we don't have a key so that's a no-go for now let's just head back to the train to get the mammoth doll We also need to talk to the station master while we're here. Anything new we can talk to Oscar about? Everything okay, Oscar? Yes, Kate Walker. I am awaiting your instructions. The university authorities want us to move the train out of their station. According to internal regulations, trains are designed for coming and going, not staying at platforms. They have a point, Kate Walker. However, our train is unique, and its clockwork mechanism has requirements that are beyond the station's rudimentary equipment. Hey, that's not their problem, Oscar. The problem is also beyond my mandate, Kate Walker. Whatever. Yep, it's all up to us. Oscar, 
There's no way you could rust away. Hmm. You don't know where I might find any Amazon forest Sauvignon, do you? No, Kate Walker. That is too bad, because if we do need to go up to the mechanical eagle to find eggs, we need to find a way to get past those cuckoos at the bottom of the ladder, and presumably that's what we need the Sauvignon grapes for, because that's what they eat. This is getting convoluted. Oscar, the sailors have agreed to tow the train, but they want to get paid for it. I suppose you have some petty cash on board to cover traveling costs? No, there is nothing like that. You will note, however, Kate Walker, that every effort has been made to ensure maximum passenger comfort. Okie dokie. I'll have to sort this one out by myself then. Hey, um, Kate, you're the one who went traveling in Europe without carrying any money, so... Oscar, see you later, alligator. In a while, Kate Walker. Too bad there's not just an ATM here. I assume she ha at least has cards on her. Um, all right, we need the mammoth doll. Which now Kate is willing to take. Alright, well, the professor said we should talk to the station master about the Sauvignon grape. So, let's do so. We know where to find him. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I do for you, miss? Where might I find some forest Sauvignon plants, please? No place around here, that's for sure. I don't know what you're talking about. That stuff's from the Amazon. <laughs> you know, for someone who knows nothing about the plant, you seem pretty well informed about which mysterious faraway country it comes from. Oh, um, Amazon, Peru, Papua, New Guinea, it's all the same to me. Gotta go. Gotta work. Wait, don't go. You know what? I don't think he was being totally straight with me. You know what? I think you might be right. Wonder where he went. I'm just over here, apparently. Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see I am very, very busy? Uh, no. I, well, well, I am. Very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. Yeah, he definitely does not look busy. I'm looking for a kind of little juicy berry. You don't know where I could find some? Look, lady, the station doesn't have any Sauvignon berries, not even forest Sauvignon. Funny you should mention it. That's exactly what I was looking for. Forest Sauvignon. Uh, Sauvignon, raspberries, red currants, they're all the same to me. And we don't grow none of them here. But you see, I have just read a very interesting book, which says that the rare Sauvignon berry is actually cultivated here, in the famous Baruchstadt University Avery itself. Well, if it's in a book, then... <laughs> don't believe everything you read, miss. I don't know why, but I don't think you're telling me the truth. What do you mean? I don't know. How should I know where to find your stupid grave? Go ask your professor, what his name, Pons, the paleontologist. But you're the master of this station, so you should know better than anyone. Nobody tells me anything. I don't know. Go see the old guy with the fossils. Um, but he told us to talk to you, so that's not helpful. Have we talked to him about money? I don't think we have. The sailors on the barge reckon they could help me tow my train out of here, but they're asking for money. You couldn't 
possibly help me out with a few dollars, could you? I would be very grateful. Uh, miss, really, I'm surprised at you. Asking for money from a total stranger, I mean, whoa. Right. I need cash. I need it to get my train out of your station, because my train is getting in your way, disturbing your birds, and upsetting your bosses. Look, lady, I'm only a station master. I got my problems, and you got yours. Okay. I won't disturb you any longer, Mr. Station Master. Welcome to Barrockstadt, miss. Didn't think it was going to be that easy. Alright, well since he doesn't want to tell us, we need to ask someone else. Maybe we should ask the paleontologist again. Which means we need to go back to the university. Um, let's first go show the mammoth to the paleontologist. We need to talk to him anyway. Do excuse me, Professor. Professor, sorry to disturb you again. Professor, I have brought you something that should be of interest to you. Look. What have you got there, then? Let's see. An effigy of a mammoth. But this is Hans doll, is it not? Yes, of course it is. How on earth did you... Oh, my God. It's in my hands. It exists. It really exists. Please, please do excuse me. I'm, I'm deeply, deeply moved. You see? Your Hans and my Varlberg heir are one and the same. This is incredible. After all these years, how can I ever thank you, my dear? Oh, I must waste no time. I'm off to my laboratory. I must study this carefully. May I borrow your treasure a moment? Uh, well, actually, uh... Don't worry, miss. I will take the greatest care of it. But I need to study it. You see, it has such importance to me that this very afternoon I shall deliver an impromptu lecture to my students about this very object. If you are interested in Hans Vorlberg, then it is essential that you attend. Hmm? Do you think so? Obviously. Give me your telephone number and I will call you the moment my lecture begins. I will return you your doll at the end. You have my word. Okay, that might be interesting. And he walks off through those doors that were locked before, so now we can actually go in. Okay. That's how doors work. Um, looks like it's a lab of some kind. We can look at these shelves over here. Bunch of lab stuff and some paleontology related objects, but also... A voice cylinder. Another message from Hans to Anna. I'll have to go back to the train and play that. Very curious to see. Professor's over here now. He's got the mammoth on his uh, table. I don't think we can take it back at this point. I don't need that for the time being. Nope. He still needs it, I guess. What is it you want to know, miss? Um... Anything new he has to say now about the mission or haunts? You told me earlier about a lecture on some ancient Siberian tribe called the... Ooks or something? The Yukals, my dear. Careful not to confuse them with the Ukistran people of Central Asia. Do excuse me. 
I, I wanted to know if your lecture is going to start soon. Your eagerness to learn delights me, my dear. But I haven't finished studying this marvelous mammoth effigy yet. Don't worry, I will call you. We'll see you later. Your Hans Varlberg sounds uncannily like the one I'm looking for. Can you tell me a little bit more about him? He was always a mystery to me. He never said very much, and never quite seemed to grasp what you said to him. No, that is still the same description as before. You wouldn't know where the forest Sauvignon plants are kept in Bauerstadt, would you? Uh, why do you think there are Sauvignon plants here? I read about it in a book at the library. Uh, try going to see the station master. If such a shrub exists, he will have a better idea than anyone. It's actually he who sent me to you. I thought it a little strange, but he definitely said ask the paleontologist. You're the only one here, aren't you? Yes, yes indeed. What a strange way to behave. Well, I, um, I think he must have made a mistake, that's all. Nobody tells me anything here, and maybe you should ask the rectors. After all, they are in charge of the university. All right, thanks. People are acting very weird about this berry, or grape, I'll or whatever it is supposed peace. to be. I hope I haven't disturbed you too much. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. There's also something over here that we can look at. And there is actually two things. There is this clamp thing, which we can take. Test tube holder. I guess that's what they use it for. And there's this, which is actually uh, appears to be a bottle containing Yangala Kula, the uh, mushroom that we read about earlier. I guess it's powder, or maybe it has been turned into a liquid. It's kind of impossible to tell. And you can only take this if you have seen the book. Otherwise, um, Kate will tell you that she doesn't know why she needs it. And we actually kind of still don't know why we need it. But because we know what it is, she's willing to take it. Oh, it is powder. Okay. And that is all in here. Well, since the paleontologist couldn't help us, I guess we need to talk to the rectors about the Sauvignon berry. Giving us quite the runaround. Nope, that's the library. Gentlemen, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. Nor trains from leaving stations. You really just want me to move, don't you? Well, you're going to have to help me with this berry if you want that. Are you sure there are no Amazon Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt? Because I have just interviewed the station master and the paleontologist, and what they said really didn't convince me that there wasn't any here. We are quite definite on this point. There are no Sauvignon plants growing in Barockstadt. You see, miss, the Amazon forest Sauvignon is a rare shrub that requires very special conditions for growth. That's right. Uh, conditions that are very hard to reproduce, believe you me. Difficult, but not impossible. Uh, fortunately, our garden has proved very successful. Your garden? So, there is a garden in Barakstadt? Oh, the garden. Well, if there was one, it would be only a little garden hidden behind the station. But our station master would be very proud of it. He would take very good care of it, too. Everything would grow marvelously if we were able to cultivate it at all, and it would be all down to his gardening prowess. And we would be proud as punch. And we wouldn't forget the role the paleontologist might play in this. What's the paleontologist got to do with it all? Without him and without his laboratory, how would we make the wine, do you think? 
And it would be good wine indeed, my dear colleagues, would it not? Oh, yes, a delightful balm to soothe away our long hours of toil and our heavy responsibilities. We would wait impatiently every year for the arrival of the year's produce. So, if I have understood you correctly, there are indeed Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt. They are cultivated in a garden behind the station, then turned into wine by the paleontologist's loving care. And finally, the pleasure of tasting is yours. If I'm not very much mistaken, gentlemen, you have a minor racket operating here. Miss, you do go jumping to some hasty conclusions. We never said that. That's not what we said at all. Uh, uh, we, we, we were talking in the conditional. You know, with ifs and woulds. So, what would happen if I had such a hunch? Hmm, you would have to keep it to yourself, of course. Yes, if, if you would be so kind as to keep it a secret. <laughs> It would only be a small local concern, producing barely a few bottles every year. That's right. Nothing so grandiose as a business. Otherwise, we'd be liable to be fined. So, we can't count on your discretion, can't we? Don't worry. I have no intention at all of getting messed up in anything. I guess that's why the station master was so nervous when we told him we were a lawyer. He thought we were here about... Uh, their illegal winemaking business, I guess. <laughs> and that's why nobody wanted to tell us about the berry, but now we know. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. Must be tea time pretty often here. Nope, wrong way. All right, um, I guess we should go confront the station master with this new knowledge. Hopefully he'll actually show us where the berries are. Which means we need to go all the way back to the station again. And this is where it really just becomes annoying that there's so much empty screens in between everything. Because this part of the game makes you walk back and forth quite a lot and there's just no way to cut it short even if you already know what you're doing. Like the fact that you can't get the mammoth early. So this part to practice, even with me skipping all of the dialogue and all of the cutscenes, still took over an hour just to run through it because of all the walking that you cannot skip. Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see I am very, very busy? Uh, no. Well, 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 I am. Very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. You have been playing with me, haven't you? You knew very well there were forest sauvignon berries in the station garden. No, not at all. I've never seen your Sauvignon thing. You don't have to lie to me. I know all about it. You and the rectors are in cahoots, and the professor's lab has been turned into a distillery. You've all got a nice little smuggling racket on the side. Smuggling racket? Hey, hey lady, you're going a bit far there. It's just a little on-the-side thing we got going. That's all. It's just for ourselves. Hey, be honest. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Aren't you worried about the reputation of this fine university? The authorities should be informed of this. But we haven't done anything wrong. It's not a crime. Can you open the gate to the garden, please? Sure, sure. No problemo. Right away, miss. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. The gate to the garden is the locked gate we saw earlier. Which is down this way. There you are. 
please feel free to visit the garden at your leisure. And uh, uh, there was just one thing. Uh, I'm not a liar. Not really. Just mum's the word. There is the reputation of the university to think about. And I have superiors, and I have to do what I can. I understand. Don't you worry. Oh, thank you, miss. And he walks off. Wait, does he have only one eye? Kind of looks like it. Um, alright, now we can go outside here. Behind the station. Where... Well, it looks more like a... Like a, a bush or forest, I guess, than a garden, but I guess it's a garden. I guess they're growing these trees here deliberately. And here are the shrubs with the Sauvignon Berry. And now they're grapes again. Okay, I guess this game thinks grape and berry are interchangeable. Sauvignon grapes. All right. That is what we needed, and that's all that's here. So, let's head back. This university just seems to be in the middle of nowhere. It's next to a, like, a dilapidated town, I guess. Maybe there's more on the other side of the university. Although, I don't know how you'd get there, because there doesn't seem to be any other exit. All right, berries in hand. We can go over here and see if we can't get rid of those cuckoos blocking the way. <laughs> and they all sort of waddle over there, I guess. And will now no longer bother us. Which means we can climb up. Better be careful, we don't want to fall like the Station Master. This seems, um, pretty high. Again, not sure I would be brave enough to climb this. I, mean, I, I don't even have fear of heights or anything. I mean, it's not too bad, I guess. There's railings everywhere. I would probably be okay. I guess this is the um, dysfunctional mechanical eagle. I would think that repairing that is a bigger priority than fixing the bandstand. But considering this is threatening the other birds in the aviary, well, the bandstand is just, you know decoration. But we don't have to, so... There is a peculiarly large egg in here. Impossible to reach it. But it is too far away for us to get. Maybe it will do the trick in opening the bad stand. But in order to get it, we will need to use the test tube holder, which... Fortunately, we could get before we knew we needed it, so we don't have to run back to get that. And now we have the cuckoo's egg. Don't, I guess these other eggs are different birds. Hopefully that egg has the right size and weight to open the uh, bandstand, otherwise we are entirely out of luck. And I guess while we're here, we might as well take a look at the, uh, um, at the, um, voice cylinder as well in the train. But I guess we'll have to do that in the next video.